the demons have been here for centuries. They called me here many years ago because they needed a faithful servant. Someone who was unafraid to do whatever they asked. And they asked for innocent souls. So I built the orphanage. And the filthy little creatures came right to my door. And I ate children. But I was rewarded. They allowed me to sacrifice them in the church outside. Are you ready to go inside? I came to see you again. Your no. shots didn't work last time. What the hell are you talking about? Let me see. <laughs> you got, well, you kind of lost the cake. I did? You lost some of the cake. Caffeinated and vaccinated. I am all of the above and I still have my germs. Ah, so... I love... How have you been? I've been good, and you? Oh, you are not. Stocking up on the blood, feeding on my victims. Have you met my friend? She is beautiful. I'm be careful, she will place a curse on penis and it will fall off and sleep. Oh, well, I'm married and, and my wife may have done that already. Oh, well, she could just add to it and make possible. <laughs> See, I made her laugh. And then who's the guy right here? Been to introduce the guy. This special one right here. I let him out every once in a while because he likes to eat the cheese. So I have to give him special attention. Plus he has sexy hair. Well, sometimes we all need a little special attention. He don't get too close. He bites. He bites hard. I'm not going to tell you where he likes to bite. Uh oh. All right. So you know what? Let's go in the, in the gift shop. Well, let's go see how they torment some folks over here. He's got the shrimps. He's got the shrimps. Watch out, everybody. He has the shrimps. He has shrimp. Lots of the shrimps. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Right now, let's see if anything new is in here. This is the area where you can order some food. It smells really good in here. There used to be a head in here. Um, they changed it up. It's like, like like a new wall or a cleaned up wall. This used to be over yonder. It smells so good though. That's the chef's cooking over there. Some body parts and things like that. That's pretty cool right here. I dig this. Uh, he said it'll light up. It has some good uh, lighting to this. It's actually portable. They use this and take it to different places. Um, these guys are really cool. They, they, you know, they, they've been giving me their golden treatment and uh, told me a lot of things that are happening going to change here at Scream Hollow. So all I can say is if you ever have a chance, get out here, man. This is the coolest experience ever. And like I said, nothing scripted here. It just happens. I like this. And you got a bar right here. You get some stuff. You got a chick hanging out right over there and there's brown spook layers cooking in uh, hot Texas heat got some rats but here we go it's getting dark and we're gonna be doing a honey hayride real soon maybe we'll see the Wendigo or something like that and there's my princess over there she's all sexy the gift shop see if there's anything new though that's what I meant to do <laughs> so this is Madame Tinker's magical emporium gift shop 
Hello. <laughs> yeah, they changed this up quite a bit too. I like it. It's got a different feel. Yeah, man, we got some uh, creepy Halloween stuff. Wonder if that works. Turns on. But it's just so hot here in Texas, man. Making everything hot. Check this out, man. We got a Cinnabite. Woo! Scream hollow goodies. Oh, look at these little guys. I tell you, I give these uh, scare actors props, man, wearing all this makeup and all this. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm cooking right now. Exactly, right? And that's what makes the hard part is the heat. Yeah. All right, my friend. I'm going to keep on cruising out here. Thank you. Huge new changes. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The asylum. <laughs> the one chick, man. Uh, she said that she had a rash. And then she put mayonnaise on it and it didn't work. And so then she tried Listerine and, it, and that didn't work either. So she was going to write a, a complaint to Listerine that that doesn't work on rashes. That was the most hilarious thing. This chick just kept following me, saying that she knows me. Hilarious. I just did Slaughterhouse. And the guy at the end, <laughs> he pulled a piece of shit out of his, his diaper. Man, if y'all get the chance, you have to come out here and do this. You have to. I can't record inside, man, as much as I would love to. All I can tell you, it is just awesome footage. It's just awesome shit inside. That's that dude that he pulled shit out of his, he's got a diaper on. Can I get a change? I, I, I use my diaper. So. <laughs> Why? Are you gonna, are you gonna, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think he's speechless, you know what to say. I this one already, I mean, I, we had your better I, 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 I think I have diabetes. This is kind of sweet. <laughs> oh, priceless, man. Absolutely priceless. Right up the middle. <laughs> Haunted Hayride entrance. That's all I could get you. I right, just did the Hayride. Really cool. The Reaper prop is amazing. They got the high-end props that are in there. Uh, a few missed opportunities though, they get to add some more lighting in certain spots that would bring out um, a little more ambiance to it. A couple more foggers would be really cool. But I mean, for the Haunted Hay Ride, that was really sweet. I'm speechless. And it's just the changes in the park itself. A lot of good things. And then come October 1st, we got a lot more good things. I'm going to do a silent one more time. 
And then I'll have to head out because it's going to be an hour and a half drive back to San Antonio. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Y'all stay spooky, my friends. See you soon. Oh,